Welcome back to 2 for 2 Math. I am your host Raphael Thompson. In this video we will be exploring division and showing you how to introduce this topic that is so difficult to many of our students. And here we go with a word problem. This is grade 3 by the way. Now, there are 6 marbles and 3 friends want to share them. How do they divide the marbles so that each of them gets the same amount? Typical word problem with dealing with marbles. Let's see what we have to do. Yes, we will share the marble. So let's give each friend one marble. And that's what we did. Each of them got one marble. We have three left. Now we give each of them another marble. No marbles left, no remainders. So that's how we shared the marbles with the three friends. Each friend receives two marbles. Straightforward. Okay, so sharing is division. Let's try another word problem. This one for the girls. There are 10 cupcakes to be shared between two friends. How many cupcakes will each friend get? Yeah, I hope they can eat all of the cupcakes. So, let's see what we have to do. We will share. And we give one. Each of them get will get one. Okay, that's straightforward. Now, we do another set. That's two. Each of them gets two. We have some left. So we have to continue sharing. Give each of them another one. Each of them has three now. Still have some more cupcakes left. Share again. Give each of them one again. Each of them has four. Still have some cupcakes left. Let's share again. Yes, and each of them has five cupcakes now and then no cupcakes left no remainder so each friend will get five cupcakes i hope they can eat them all sharing division it's all the same thing here are some division symbols and the first one is six divided by three and that's a line with dot to the top dot to the bottom and then you have a a straight a line or we call it a fraction bar with fractions and then we have the bracket where we have six being divided by two the last one so students need to know these symbols they don't need to memorize the names as such but they just need to know that when they see these symbols we are dividing so now get your children to be able to do this division as repeated subtraction especially those who have challenges the first thing we're doing is six divided by three so we say six take away three is equal to three then we take away again three take away three is equal to zero we stop once we get zero, we stop. Now, what we do is we count how many times we subtracted. And the blue arrow show you that one, two. So six divided by three is equal to two because we have to subtract twice. And once you get to zero, that's it, you can stop. So let's explore this division as repeated subtraction because students may not be able to divide, but then they should be able to subtract. Let's try another one. 10 divided by 2. So 10 take away 2 is 8. 8 take away 2 is 6. 6 take away 2 is 4. 4 take away 2 is 2. 2 take away 2 is 0. Then we stop. Count the steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 because we subtracted 5 times. That's division as repeated subtraction. And it's good for them to have this skill early on. Now, there's another way you can do it. Remember, you can't teach these all together. Division is the opposite of multiplying. So two times three is equal to six. So six divided by three is equal to two. Division and multiplying are cousins. Now, division is the opposite of multiplying again. Two times five is 10. So 10 divided by two is five. And at the two numbers at the end, if you multiply them, you get the number to the front. That's what you're looking at. Now, let's look at the names of some of the the numbers for division. The first one is easy. The divisor is the number you're dividing by. The number you're dividing into would be the dividend. And then the answer you get is called the quotient. So they need to know these names. The divisor is the number you're dividing by. The dividend is the number you're dividing into. The answer you get is the quotient. Let's look at 6 divided by 2. And this is a typical way to begin 
after you've done it physically. Six divided by two. Let's put six circles or six sticks, six or anything there. And we will do the groupings. This is important. This is what you get kids to really understand. Now they group in twos. Why two? Because it says six divided by two. So you group in twos and see how many groups you will get. And that's what we did in this process. This is an introductory part of division. So six divided by two, we had the groups in twos. How many groups? One, two, three. So the answer is three. The number of groups give you the answer for that division. So six divided by two is equal to three. Now, let's do it as repeated subtraction. Remember, we did this earlier. So six divided by two, we take away two. Six take away two is four. Four take away two is two. Two take away two is zero. Stop. Once you get that zero, you can stop. No remainders. Now, let's see how many steps we made. One, two, three steps. Three, we subtracted three times. So six divided by two is equal to three. That's division as repeated subtraction. Now the same thing, division is opposite of multiplying. If you know your tables, two times three is equal to six, then six divided by two is equal to three, or six divided by three is equal to two. Now let's see if you can do this one, 12 divided by three. There you have the sticks. What are you gonna do? Do it quickly for me. Let's see what answer you will get. 12 divided by three. What do you have to do with the sticks or circles, whatever you're using. You have 12 of the sticks right there. What are you gonna do? Do it. Let's see if you get an answer. Now, this is as repeated subtraction. Let's see if you can do this as well. 12, the first thing you do is say 12, take away three, put an answer, and then do another subtraction, do another one, and then do a final subtraction. Let's see if you can get the numbers in and get the numbers correct. We already see that you have to do four subtractions. So we know what the answer will be. I need the numbers in on it, to make sure you understand what you're doing for division as repeated subtraction. It's a, an important skill you need to learn. Then your tables. So three times four is 12. So how do we get the answer for 12 divided by three, knowing that three times four is 12? Do that for me, guys. Give me an answer. Let's see if you can get it correct. And here we go. Yes, 12 divided by three is four. So when you did the groupings, you have four groups. And when you did the repeated subtraction, you subtracted four times. So 12 divided by three gives you four in any of the ways that you did it. And then you also had three times four is 12. So 12 divided by three is equal to four. And look at the three and the four at the back. Three times four gives you the number at the front, 12. Now let's do a quick quiz and see how many of these you can get correct. Come on, you can get all of these correct. First one, eight divided by two. You decide how you want to do it. If you want to do repeated subtraction, go ahead. I'm giving you time to do it. If you want to do the groupings, put down eight sticks or eight circles. And do the groupings and see how many groups you have. If you know your two timetables, then you can do it right away. Next, 10 divided by 5. Put down 10 sticks or put down 10 circles and do the groupings. See how many groups. Or subtract 5, 10 minus 5, to repeat a subtraction. Or if you know your tables, 5 times what is 10? That would be your answer. Number 3, 15 divided by 3. The number's getting bigger and harder. So you decide how you want to work it. 15 divided by 3. What's the answer for that? Let's see if you can do that. Go ahead. Use whatever strategy you want. I already gave you 3. And let's move on to 20, numbers getting bigger, 20 divided by 5. What's the answer? 20 divided by 5. This may take a while if you're putting down 20 sticks or 20 circles, then you got to divide them in groups of 5, see how many groups you have. And 8 divided by 2, the answer was 4. Give yourself a mark for that. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and multiply the two numbers at the back. 2 times 4 gives you the number at the front, 8. So it's a simple way to check. Multiply the divisor and the quotient. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Multiply the divisor and the quotient. 3 times 3, 9. Gives you the number at the front, so it's correct. That's 2. I hope you got those correct. And let's do another one. 
10 divided by 5 is 2. Yeah, multiply the divisor and the quotient. 5 times 2 gives you the number different, gives you the dividend, which is 10. So once you know your two timetables, you would get that. Just count in twos. Excellent work if you got those correct. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. Multiply the divisor and the quotient, 3 times 5, gives you the dividend at the front, 15. Once you know your 3 time tables or your 5 time tables, you're okay. 15 divided by 3, 5. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. Hope you got that correct. Remember, that's the, a big number there. 20 divided by 5. Multiply 5 times 4, you get 20. There you go. Hope you got five out of five for that. If you didn't, don't worry. Go back and look at it. Please remember, students must physically share first, do groupings, then they can do repeated subtraction and use multiplication to divide.